Leather is an amazing cosplay material. It's a lot cheaper than actual leather, but over time it can start breaking or fading. But today we're gonna try and fix that problem. So as you can see, leather can break down in two ways. It can either rip around the seams or it can start to flake. Now the answer to both these problems, surprisingly, is cost paint, especially the transparent one. I first glued down the ripped seams with some contact cement. So first off, we're just gonna add a little bit of contact cement inside the holes to just keep them in place before we apply the flex paint. It's just a little bit of security so that things don't move a little too much when you're applying. Otherwise you can have bumps in your leather and like you're really trying to avoid all that. So uh, now I glued down all the blue pieces that I noticed are coming loose. Uh, why I'm only doing this to the blue? Because it's a different kind of leather like this is really damaging a lot harder than this. This is just rips in the seams, like you can just glue those back and then we're gonna cover that so it won't rip again. But here, like adding glue onto that, you're just gonna make the issue worse. Like we're just gonna use a different technique to covering that up. What I really like about the cost paint is that it shines a bit more, even when it's dry. Um, and for this kind of leather, that's perfect because my leather here, it already shines um, before I started. So I, I tested a little piece over here and you can not see the difference where it got covered now or not. Um, I will add, if you want to use this te technique on not shiny leather, then just brush it over with acrylics, like re-weather your leather and you should have a perfect uh, piece of fixed leather as well. So now you can already see that the cross paint is just setting into the grooves of the leather, which is a good thing. Like it means that I'm going to be able to keep the texture of the leather and still have that that security of it not ripping anymore. All right, so the blue is setting pretty well uh, for the first coat. So now I'm just gonna do this for the black. Just kind of go with the, like I kind of like um, comb it down again. Because there's a lot of bits that are just coming up here. And I think by just giving him the first layer like this and like flowing it into the second layer of the blue, I think we're gonna have a good result with that. Also, by doing this, you're already securing your seams. Like, it's a problem with, with suits like this. You have to move a lot in them. And your seams are just gonna pop after a while. Make sure to let the layers dry before adding the next one. If you don't, you might just mess up the previous layer. So we're really, really laying it on thick. Um, the problem here is that we have like uh, cracks that are going in different directions. So just calming, combing it down won't even work that well. So I need to really kind of dip it really get a thick layer going. The blue only rips on places where it's been stitched, so, and it makes sense because it's very brittle, but here it just started ripping everywhere. There's not much you can actually do to stop that, but I think I think it's gonna be good. Don't be too afraid to hit the zipper. Um, like, it, it's not sticking on, uh, like, metals and stuff like that, so you can just kind of do this and it's out. Like, you're not gonna mess up your zipper by touching it a little bit. Don't hit it full on, because you might, like, actually damage the zipper then. But if it's just, like, if you're worried that you have a little bit of cost pain just hitting the zipper, you can just pick it out. So there's a hole here, like th this was uh, a problem area and now I'm feeling over it now that the paint is dried and it's just, you don't you don't feel that it's there anymore. So like, I'm, I think I might be able to work this out completely now, which is just great. Since the cost paint is transparent and flexible, you won't have any issues later on. All right, so it's all covered three times. I think it actually looks really good. The blue is still drying on bit, so it might look a bit bleak on, on some parts. Um, but as you can see, like places like here, if you compare it to what it was before, the color barely changed, but it looks a lot fresher, a lot newer. And again, it's not gonna rip again, because it's just this layer of something that is stretchy, but very strong to just hold it together. Like you're not gonna be able to overstretch seams anymore, because I hit the seams pretty hard. Like even the black is mostly, mostly back in, but because I wanna fix it for real, and in the game it looks a lot more metallic, these bits, gonna start mixing a little bit of uh, cost paints into the other cost paints to just make it look that metallic shine and also get completely rid of these these holes that are still there you could definitely stop here um, but I just want to create more depth to it and I, I want to completely be able to fix it as best as I can so I also added some panther black cost paint in the mix to it to regain the color a bit more and blend it all back together to finish off I mixed some transparent cost paint with mermaid blue to add some highlights to it, also fill in some holes again. At some point, I started dry brushing the blue cost paint on its own just to around the edges to weather it a bit. This creates some extra depth and also instantly makes the costume look like it's a lot higher in quality. So it's mostly done. I'm actually really satisfied with how it looks. I never intended it to get it 
like clean clean but i intend it to not make it worse and actually fix it a little bit it's just a more high quality version of the suit that i already had the only thing that i will still point out is that cost paint um it's a bit tacky when it dries up like it, it definitely for a 24 hours to cure but um it's gonna stay tacky like when you put it in a bag or you fold it and you're gonna take it out after a while just gonna stick to each, to each other and you're just gonna have to rip it apart again over time by doing that too much you're gonna have to you're gonna start ripping holes in it so for that i'm gonna use baby powder just to get rid of the tackiness and then after 24 hours should be fine to just fold it just be sure to massage it in really well so if you, use, if you feel like you used a little bit too much of the baby powder, you can just like take like some warm, uh, wet napkin or something and just rub it off a little bit again. Okay, so now I'm completely done with it. Again, the damages are still there. You're not gonna be able to fix something like it's just out of the box, like that's not possible, but you can definitely see it's an improvement to what it previously was. Also, it just won't rip again, which was the thing I was trying to do is like stop it from ripping again. Definitely the black parts are still a bit there, but like I said, like you're never gonna get it as good as new. If you have any more questions, be sure to drop them down below. I'll be checking out the comment box as well just to answer your questions. Uh, this is definitely, in my opinion, a new technique. Even if you're a cosplayer that's been doing it for a while, you might have not known about this and it definitely saves you a lot of time, money, all that by being able to refurbishing your costumes instead of just remaking them. So I fixed this entire costume for approximately 20 bucks. And this is a costume where I paid a lot more for when I bought it. All right, so that's the video. I really love doing these. Like it's fun to just share my little crazy ideas with people out there that might have it any use to it. I'm Immortal Costuming and see you in the next one.